things first, if you're not a knitter, definitely subscribe once per month in the year 2021st, for sure, I will be knitting a pair of socks from my leftovers and that will be something to grab. Obviously, I will be knitting only certain size, so either it will fit you or maybe you will snag a pair for a family or friend. Yeah, to take part, you need to watch the video and then comment under that video to be in chance of winning. I'm knitting more socks for my members, so join button, you can find that next to subscription button when you're on your computer. And we have level one and level two, which equivalent, I call it one coffee and two coffees. I'm knitting socks over there. At the moment in March, you have certain socks that I've knitted. In April, I also finished, but uh, for level two, I will be adding, I'll be trying to switching now because I hear that some of you are saying that you have smaller feet, some people have bigger feet. And I was also thinking that some knitters who like love knit for themselves, but not really for family members could even join and I don't know, comment joined because I want to knit customized size socks. So at the moment, I'll try to switch that. So in April, I'm going to have a physical pair of socks and also uh, I will have a custom. So custom, which means I will ask you to specify the size of a sock and would you want to have color work, lace or plain vanilla. I will explain that more on the video itself. Month after that, I'll try to do that for level one anyway. Anyway, so if you have any questions about that, leave the comment down below. And obviously there's more things that I need to go through and think through. I think it'll be really cool because then I'll be able to share while I'm missing, which I love to do on Instagram. And at the end of the day, I will be able to record finished object video like that with the socks knitted for a specific person. So winner. And I can tell you the whole story about it. And that person will want to communicate with me while I'm doing that or be awesome. Right, in regard to these socks, if you're a knitter, or maybe you'd want to start knitting, I will put two links down below to the two tutorials, toe up socks. One is knitted uh, with fingering weight yarn and uh, two at a time. There's another one which I'm showing you how to start knitting one sock at a time. And I call them fast and easy socks. And I have a pattern, a pattern on Ravelry. So if you want to see it, on the paper and knit while I'm knitting it on the screen on YouTube as a beginner friendly knitting uh, kind of lesson with me go for it um, that's the way I knitted these socks although the uh, the tutorial is for a sport weight and this is I knitted in fingering weight and the difference is if you have ever uh, encounter a knitting pattern like in my patterns I'll uh, try to I think all of my patterns have four sizes so for 48 56 64 or 72 stitches circumference. So as you can see, there is a pattern by adding eight stitches to get it bigger, right? Um, so that way you can pick the number that you feel the best using the yarn you feel the best. So for instance, I knitted these um, using 56 stitches. So I increased until that number using fingering weight yarn, using US size one, 2.25 millimeter needles. So obviously I get some kind of circumference with it. If you're a beginner knitter, um, you will get some too, and then eventually you will know, does it fit you or not? And obviously if we want to compare ourselves, do we have the same tension of knitting? I can tell you I'm um, having, depends on the fingering, but seven to eight stitches per uh, one inch, which that way you can kind of compare and see, are you knitting the same way as I do? Um, in regards of the tension. Once I do that, I switch it to nine inch circular knitting needles and I'm knitting a big tube. And as you can see, the yarn over here is amazing. No, I did not do this, those stripes. No, I did not find yarn. The actual yarn over here is at this one. So maybe I'll show you. This is the yarn. I think I got it as a gift for sure. I got it as a gift, but I think I got it for Christmas maybe two years ago. I'm not really sure. I didn't write down from who I got it. I have a suspicion. <laughs> it could be from Germany. It could be from Canada or it could be from the United States or it could be for Lithuania from the friends. Not that the yarn actually is. I think it's from Germany, uh, although it's made in Romania. So yeah. That's what it says. And this is, oh, I don't know how to even say this. Um, so it's a sock yarn and the color is M4770. So check it out on the screen. This is the color and it's beautiful, isn't it? So if you see similar yarn, it looks like this and you would think, oh, that's not really, that's a little bit too busy for me. Well, check this out. It has such a mosaic stripes 
with different colors. Love it, love it so much, truly. And then normally I go uh, with a one by one rib with tubular bind off, but I thought maybe I'll go with the roll cuffed, which is very simple. You just do one round of pearls, then I do eight rounds of knits, and then I finish with this traditional bind off, the one that you knit and you pull over the stitch. And yeah, I'm happy, I'm so happy um, the way it looks and I hope the recipient is going to be thrilled with them too. So I show you one yarn and the other one is Drops Fable. This is very affordable yarn. We have, uh, I think, both 75% wool and 25% uh, nylon polyamide. And this one is exactly the same. So this is a superwash and I think this one is also a superwash. So over here it doesn't say it's a superwash. So if you have a fold like this, keep on looking because over here it says washable. So with socks like these, what I do, I put them into washing machine on 30 Celsius with 80 spin, whatever that means, and they're fine. So I hope the recipient is going to love them. And I thought heel at the end. I think I said that. So I hope you enjoyed this one. Check the links down below. Maybe you'll find something interesting. If you have any questions for me, let me know. And until the next one, bye.